Hey guys, have you ever gotten God a gift? Got a minute? One of the five love languages is gifts. Now, whenever we're talking about gifts, a lot of times people are like, oh, well, that makes me kind of uh, materialistic. And that's not what this is really about. It's about knowing that somebody saw something and thought of you, and that's why they got you this thing. The thing doesn't have to have a lot of monetary value. In fact, the majority of the gift is in sentimental value. So how can we give God a gift? In the Gospel according to Matthew, it says, The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. So the scripture says that whatever we do for the least of these is what we've done directly for the king. And I recommend go and read this whole parable. It's fantastic. It's like this. If somebody got my daughter a gift who is still a toddler, I would have received that gift as if they gave it to me because my toddler doesn't know how to handle that gift. Showing love to my daughter by giving her something shows love to me. Not that I want the gift, it's that you are showing love to someone I love. In the same way, we can give gifts to God by giving gifts to his kids, giving gifts to someone that he loves. And it doesn't matter if that person receives that gift and what they did with it because just as much as my daughter, if you give her a book, is just gonna stick it in her mouth, I still will appreciate the fact that you thought of my daughter and that you got her a gift. In the same way, God will receive that gift no matter what the person that you give it to does with the gift itself. See, that's the point. Whenever we give God gifts, it's always going to be an expression of love. So it's just another way that we can love God by giving of ourselves. Thanks for taking a minute.